Hi everyone, my name is Selva. Welcome to Plummy Sims and welcome to today's speed build. I hope you're all doing well and having such a fantastic day. So today we are building in the world of Newcrest. I feel like it's been a very long time since the last time I built here. I think the last build that I have built here was my like bar or lounge or nightclub, something like that. I'm not really sure but it was made for my Newcrest save file which is actually my first ever save file but um, i'm back to new press because i want to build in a i don't know like very neutral world and i thought that new press would be perfect for this type of build so today we are building another family house and it's actually requested by kelly sumi i hope i'm saying that right but if i didn't um please forgive me but um kelly requested me to build a family house for them and i will try to open my um note first before i you know i talk about the details about the build but um kelly has um a family of six and i think six households in a house it's kind of challenging for me to you know like build the house they live in but the family consist of a mom a dad and four kids so the mom is a politician and she usually works from home a lot and the dad is a firefighter and also they have four kids as i mentioned so the first kid is a daughter and she's into music and the um, second kid is a son and he loves everything space related and he wants to be an astronaut and their third kid is actually a daughter and she's into pets and um, maybe she loves like animals and stuff and she wants to have a fat clinic or maybe to be a fat and also the last um, kid is a son and he's into anything like sports related he wants to be an athlete and all of the kids are teens or young adults so uh, based on that background story i tried to you know like um like write down what kind of build styles i wanted to go with because um i had different ideas from two doors to like suburban to um what do you call those styles that you know like the um brand hacking house i'm not sure um but that type of build and also um, barn house but I feel like modern farmhouse would be nice and also I wanted to you know like mix some parts where it has this kind of like more traditional part and also have some more like updated or modern parts so it's kind of look like the real house in real life I mean you can see this type of houses um, in real life because not everyone's house has like matching furniture and stuff so that's what basically what i thought when i was building this and we have five bedrooms if i'm not mistaken let me think one two three four yeah five bedrooms and one two maybe four or five bathrooms which is actually a lot and we have a garage we have um like a decent size pool backyard and also we have a let me call this as a laundry room but it's not really a laundry room because even though it's supposed to be but i didn't use any laundry day packs yeah a laundry day pack here and in fact i only use base game get to work cats and dogs and parenthood that's it i believe so um those are some of the most purchased packs i would say especially cats and dogs and parenthood and i think i did all right here because um even though the floor plan on the upstairs could be a little bit better i think it's just i mean it's okay it's not too bad and um when i was building this i didn't realize that all of the kids are teen or young adults and um that's why here on the first bedroom for the um like animal lover kid it looked a bit too childish for their age and as soon as i realized that i changed the color palette and stuff and uh, make it a little bit more like mature not in a way like super mature but more suitable for like older teens and younger young adults something like that so um 
we have some that has like single bed and we have some others that has double beds and um we have one bedroom downstairs and the rest of the bedrooms i think four more are upstairs and I have to say that it didn't take me that long to finish this whole build. It only took me around three hours, which is not that long, even though I built this on like the second to last weekend of September. So maybe it's a two weeks old build or even three weeks old, but um, it happens because I tend to pre-record a lot and I'm not sure what is the most recent Sims news or like update something like that by now because um, I pre-record this and by the way um, this is the kitchen so the kitchen is in a strange layout and shape it's kind of like a T shape um, but it's totally okay so I thought that they have this kind of like a, a main kitchen area and this um, like storage area so even though Kelly didn't mention that this family has pets or not but since one of the kids want to be fat and also she loves animal um i thought that it's nice to have some like pet bowls and cat condos and stuff so if you don't want to have pet related items in your house just simply delete them i don't mind and as you can tell that we have like an indoor garage like basically like a garage and we have a car park too so like outdoor garage and we have another like empty space here and we have another empty space here and i thought that it's going to be nice for a home gym so um kelly didn't mention any budget and Basically, I just went crazy with the budget because I think it's around like a hundred thousand simoleons price-wise, which is so ridiculously expensive, but it's totally okay, I think, even though it's kind of unachievable. If you haven't played around with the like household or like the families in several generations, or maybe you can have that much money by like typing like cheats and stuff. Um, but yeah, it's basically super duper expensive and um, this is the upstairs so as you can tell that we have a nice landing space and I know I should have worked with my upstairs um, layout a little bit more because it's kind of unnecessary to have this huge hallway or landing space but as for now that's how it works and uh, we're doing on another kid's bedroom so this is the one that into space related things or like maybe he wants to be an astronaut and I thought that having this kind of like a navy blue wallpaper looked really nice and that's why I um, used that and I think it's from base game and I simply adore that wallpaper so much and we have a home office for the mom because I thought that um, it's going to be nice to have the home office near to the parents bedroom because maybe um, the mom's look after their kids even though the kids are already old like older kids but um i thought it's nice to have the office upstairs and um this is the what is this oh the parents bedroom and i realized now that the parents bedroom isn't very big but it's quite narrow but it's totally okay and um this parents bedroom has an ensuite pod so i think it's nice because i believe almost every single bedroom here have their own bathrooms um but except the downstairs bedroom even though they have they don't have direct access to the bathroom but it's quite close to the bathroom so i think it's okay and we have um like a spacious bathroom for the parents because i think they deserve that and we have two more bedrooms for the daughter that's into music and i wish we could have like an upright piano like a standing piano um because i would like to put one but i realized it came with city living and um yeah i didn't use any city living items here and that's why i didn't put any piano because Grand piano is so huge and so fancy for this type of house and I don't want that and normally if I did a non-restricted packs build I will try to use the city living keyboard and kind of like merge around some like console table and stuff 
um, to make it like an upright piano but since I didn't use any um, city living items here we can't have a piano so um, if you do have city living you can add them by yourself and this is the last bedroom we're decorating and this is for the athletes wannabe or like sports enthusiast um, kit and he has a Jack and Jill bathroom basically like a shared bathroom with the uh, music lover daughter and um, do let me know what you think of the floor plan because I know I should have worked a little bit more to make it more like flowy in a way and um, I think this is going to be the last room we're decorating and we are going to move on to the backyard and on the backyard we have a huge pool and I did an experiment just a little experiment here so um, I wanted to have the pool to be on the foundation because I I don't know I just feel like it's nice to have something like this uh, once in a while because normally I will make the pool like flat on the ground so it doesn't build on foundation so um, I tried something here and the other thing that I tried is I put this kind of like a I don't know what to call this but it's kind of like a roof part basically like a roof part but like a see-through roof part like awning maybe that's the word I'm not really sure though but um, basically that and do let me know what you think of that because I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, I like it, but it's kind of different than what I used to make and um, Hopefully it's kind of refreshing and you know like give you some like I don't know like ideas and stuff and um, I did change the backyard a little bit because when I was like finished with the whole building and stuff I wanted to have this um, chest table here so I thought um, the astronaut wannabe kid, um, they need to have like higher logic skill and Chestable will help them to gain like, you know, like higher logic skill, of course. So I added it um, later off camera. So yeah, and if you'd like me to build something for your game or your family, like household and stuff, just simply DM me on Instagram. Um, I mean, you could also DM me on Twitter, but I don't understand why, but my Twitter doesn't show any notifications, even messages. So um, just in case I didn't open my Twitter for quite a while, like a few hours, like maybe like, I don't know, like a full day or something, or if I didn't respond your messages after like a full day, simply DM me on Instagram because it shows notifications. I don't know why, but since um, like, last year like late last year it's been doing that so i'm not sure why but as you can tell that um we have this kind of like a roofing awning part over the pool and we'll have an outdoor lounge and also an outdoor dining and i think it looks really nice and um if you'd like to have bigger backyard or front yard you can simply like drag the fence a little bit more because we still have quite a few more tiles to work with I mean I didn't use all of the tiles up into the very edge part but yeah I think that's it we just have to finishing up the backyard with some more detailing and um, tearing paints and landscaping and we'll be heading on to the screenshots so if you'd like to download this build this is already available on the gallery my ID is alfatiera or you can find it under the hashtag plummy sims and you can also download it by tapping the link on the description box below that will bring you to my coffee blog post it'll have the different links the first one is the gallery download link and the other one is the tray files link from simfa share so yeah i think that's it i really hope you find this video inspiring and the build useful to your game and if you do please make sure to hit the thumbs up and also make sure to be subscribed to the channel if you haven't already and if you'd like to you can also ring the bell so you'll be notified every single time i upload a new video so yeah i'm going to go now thank you so very much for hanging out with me today and supporting me i hope you have the very best day and i'll see you soon bye